Our next guest has been on a few times, uh, Terry J., the cowgirl shaman. And uh, uh, I love talking to you. Uh, every time I learn something, I get more excited about what you do and threaten to read your book. I've threatened that many times, but I'm going to now. Ha- Welcome, Terry. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me again. Now, your picture's very crisp and clear. You're on your phone this time, right? Yeah, yeah, I got too many security measures on my computer now. <laughs> I can't get the uh, the video camera to work. Is it an iPhone or another kind of phone? It's a different one. A different one, but it's a great image, HD image it looks like. So, uh, good. Yeah, That's remember good. when we were kids and, and they said, oh, they're going to uh, invent a video telephone someday, and now we're doing it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, tell me, uh, I could ask you anything, right? Uh, yes, by, by the way, Terry J. Cowgirl Shaman. That's the name of your book, is it not? It's uh, seven, uh, uh, the, the Cowgirl Shaman Way, Seven Easy Steps to Develop Your Intuitive Ability. Okay. And under your picture right now, it says you're intuitive, a medium, pet psychic, and more. Um, mm-hmm. Tell me, here's a big question on everybody's mind. Maybe you have some insight. What about this whole COVID thing? Is this a real thing? Is it a hoax? Should we be careful? What's your advice on the whole thing? Well, I think we do have to be careful. It is real. We've lost 225,000 beautiful souls. And so for somebody to call it a hoax is just totally ignorant. Yeah. It's real. The the, the most serious part about it is that the infection rate is like 100 times worse than the flu. Yeah, it's easy to catch, I understand. (laughs) Yes, it's very easy to catch. And in fact, a bunch of us may have caught it and not know it and spread it to other people. That's what I'm worried about. Right. So and that's um, a big concern, too, because you can be an asymptomatic carrier. Right. And that's why it's so important for everybody to wear masks. You know, um, there, I saw a funny thing on Facebook that said, attention Walmart shoppers, we're not, you, you can still put your pajamas on, leave your teeth and bra at home, <laughs> but please wear a mask. That's what it said. Um, that's one thing I love about the mask. I have a little tooth issue, which I won't disclose here on a TV show, but it's great to get up and just put the mask on and go out without worrying about all that other stuff. So, um, Well, I love it because it covers all my wrinkles. There you go. Um, yeah. Now, it seems pretty easy to be careful. I, uh, Instead of seeing and being in contact with 100 people a day, I keep it down to about five people, and uh-huh. I wear a mask. If I go to a restaurant, outdoor restaurant right now, it's, we're having fun with that. I go till I get to my seat, and I take out a wipe, an alcohol wipe, and wipe the table because I don't trust the waitresses or whatever. Sure. Um, and I keep my mask on until I get to my spot. Then I'll take my mask off and relax a little bit. To me, it's a numbers game. Like I said, instead of 100 people, five people. And uh, with these lights, I can see when I talk, a lot of spits coming out. A lot of water par- particles are coming out right. of my mouth. Most people don't get to see that because they don't sit in bright lights, but... Right. Um, just reducing the number of those particles that we're, we're uh, coming in contact with has to help. It's really important. Um, talking is one of the greatest ways to spread it. And the, the things that I wanted to share is, first of all, I, I think I shared last time that <clears throat> they put 28,000 DNA samples into a supercomputer of, of COVID, and the supercomputer spit out that COVID produces brady kinnon storms or brady kinnon syndrome. And for some reason, the medical community has not yet caught on to that. So I want to spread that message that if you have a loved one that gets serious COVID, scream and yell and jump up and down until they will treat them for brady kinnon syndrome. The worst part about it, besides, you know, it's not a, it's not a uh, respiratory virus, it's a vascular virus. And that's why they're getting blood clots and COVID toes. The worst part about it, I think, is the fact that it creates HA, which is a gel for your joints. It creates HA in the lungs. Hmm. And so this is why the traditional methods of clearing someone's lungs with ventilators and things are not working. They're just not working because the lungs aren't filled with fluid. They're filled with a gel. How gel. are you going to get that out? Right. It's not like so to me. It's not to like me, pneumonia the, or something. It's a gel. It's way different. That's why it's so hard, I guess. Right, but there are approved drugs already for Brady Kinnon storms or Brady Kinnon syndrome. There's already approved drugs to treat it. 
Okay. And so I think they're just starting to get to the point where instead of losing 25% of people who go to the hospital, we're only losing 7%. Well, my, my feeling is 1% is too much. Yep, yep. If there's alternative treatment, certainly. Now, let's yes. let's spell this out literally, what you're saying. Brady, B-R-A-D-Y? Uh-huh. And what's K-I-N-I-N. K-I-N-I-N. Kinnon. Yep, it's all one word. K-I-N-I-N. Brady, yep. Kinnon, you said storm? They call it storms or syndromes, like cytokine storms or syndromes. Okay. And this is so important. I've really sort of stayed on top of this because of being a medical and veterinary intuitive. I'm fascinated by all this stuff. Yeah. Brady um, Brady Cannon syndrome. Look it up. Uh, If uh, your your loved one has uh, 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 COVID or they're going, they're having this issue. Bring it up to the doctor. Is that what you're saying? Is that your message? Exactly. Exactly. Because. They're not. They're just not getting it for some reason. I mean, they're having great results with prednisone, but you know, once the prednisone wears off, it, they can still have it in their system, and they can still, you know, reattack the the, the system. Right. Now, uh, just I hope this isn't a silly question, but can animals be affected by uh, COVID? You know, I think the results so far are mixed. They've they've said some some animals have had it, especially cats. But I don't. Th- I think the jury's still out on to whether it's really the same virus. Okay. Now, um, so there is a, there is something that ought to be considered Brady Kinnon syndrome. Uh, check it out. I'm gonna look it up as soon as we get off the air and learn more about it and become a little articulate about it. Maybe if we all did that, we could start a little movement there. Um, right. Now, now tell me, uh, you have a book out. Is it one book? Yes. The first book I have out is called The Cowgirl Shaman Way, Seven Easy Steps to Develop Your Intuitive Ability. And it's basically the primer to learn how to develop all the intuitive abilities that I have. I want to share this with everyone because everyone's born with 10, um, <clears throat> 10 skill sets. You know, we have, we have um, intuition, clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairaudience, and claircognizance. Claire just means clear. So we have clear feeling, clear knowing, clear hearing, clear seeing, and intuition. We all have all of those. Now, through, so, your, through your book, you're convinced that everybody can pick up on some of these senses or skill sets? Yes. Yeah, there are senses just like seeing and feeling and hearing and touching. They're, they're, all, they're all senses that we're born with, but we turn them off in childhood. So we just have to learn to turn them back on. And the big key is listening faster Mm. because as you're starting to ask even the universe a question, you've already been sent the answer. And I think that's the only reason why people miss it. Yeah. Um, We're kind of taught to stamp down those feelings, I think, as we're growing up. And uh, uh, um, our children, our children are told they have an overactive imagination. Right. Now, if somebody wants to, sounds like everybody should read this book. Um, I think so. Yeah. Where do they start? Where can they find it? Do you have a website or do they go straight to Amazon? What's the best way to get their hands on it? Either way, they, it's, it's on Amazon. Um, you can look under my name or under the book title. And um, it's also on my website, too. And if you get it off my website, I can autograph it. That would be nice. That would be nice. Yep. So, uh, What if somebody wants to buy 10 of them or something? Is there a break on that? Um, that I don't know. We'll, we'll that I don't know. I mean, if, if somebody wants a whole bunch, they can contact me and I can let them yeah. know. And what's very cool is Terry can be reached. You can email her, right? Terry at yep. terryj.com. It's T-E-R-R-I. I can never spell a name, um, but it, I've learned it's T-E-R-R-I at terryj.com. Uh, and what else will we find on that website? Oh, there's all kinds of good stuff. I've got videos on there. My press kit's on there. And on the last page of the press kit are all kinds of videos. Um, even videos that you and I have done are on there. Nice. So it, it gets you to, it gets you an opportunity to see all the kinds of things that I do and all the different kinds of readings that I do. Now I'm on no, your website. Yes, you nice. are. Nice. I like that. Now I'm really going to go there to do Terry yeah. Terryj.com. Um, right. Now is there another book after the first one? Yes, the one I'm working on right now I'm very excited about because I think it's desperately needed. And it's how to communicate with people that can't, people in a coma, persistent vegetative state, with severe Alzheimer's or severe dementia, um, people that have had traumatic brain injuries, strokes. And for, for, if there's no um, 
technological way of communicating with them, this will teach you how to do it. You know, telepathy is real. It's real. All animals communicate telepathically. And so we just have to learn to um, turn it back on again in order to be able to do that kind of communication. Okay. And uh, I think you told us a story that your first experience was this was with a nonverbal person. Yes, it was with a nonverbal child that had cerebral palsy. Okay. And we carried on a delightful conversation. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't dawning on me at the time that he was completely nonverbal. Okay. So it was pretty bizarre when I realized what had just happened. And so now this next book can help anybody become develop their skills in that area. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's it's so easy once you realize you just have to get out of your own way and have no preconceived notions. Ah. And we all seem to have preconceived notions on this, yes. don't we? So um, Yeah, we do. Well but our, I think I think um, all healthcare practitioners should do it. All should, yeah, because they all come. Now hey, here's an idea. What if people uh, I mean, I'm a pretty verbal person, but I can't always express what's wrong with me or what I'm feeling or something like that. It, can it help there, too, for, say, oh, a health care worker? Oh, I think so, yeah. sure. Okay. Absolutely. So. Yeah, your, your problem is, is that you're so brilliant that your mind is going faster than your mouth can keep up. My mind goes very fast, so people... I, I know. I can't explain that to people, but... Uh, well, I just got it. You got it, yeah. Terry J. sees it, so... <laughs> Are you married? Yeah. Maybe we could get married, Terry. The only person that understands me in the world. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> My husband would probably have an issue with that. Well, tell him you got proposed to today. So <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to show a video in a couple minutes. Uh, tell us about the video. Well, this is what's called a sizzle reel. I have my pilot done for my TV show, okay. and this is the sizzle reel that gives you a little sample of all the kinds of uh, readings that I do. And there's one horse that I do a reading on in here that I want you guys to watch for because she sticks her nose right in my neck. And after we finished it, the owner said, that was really weird. And I went, what happened? And she said, Terry, Annie doesn't like anybody. Hmm. And Annie was like, had her nose right stuck in my neck. Yeah. And she was just cuddling with me. Yes. So I, I just wanted to mention that. Yeah. I've seen people really communicate with horses. You know, I don't want to say horse whisperer or something. I guess you're kind of a horse whisperer then, in a way. Yeah, I think so, because it's not just training. A lot of people think of a horse whisperer as somebody that, you know, does voodoo horse training. Yeah. And, you know, you've got the whole rest of their horse's life. You need to know if they're in pain or if they've got an itch or a bellyache or, you know, something like that. By the way, we should mention that you don't have to go out to somebody's ranch or or have somebody come to you, you can do some of this over the phone? I do everything by phone now. By phone. Absolutely okay. everything. I'm not doing any casino shows. I'm not doing any uh, group readings other than on Zoom, which is a riot. And um, so everything I'm doing is at a distance. And, and in that way, it's safer for everybody. Yeah, it is. It is. And the fact that you could do that. Did you say something about the body's mostly made up of energy or something like that? And yeah, we, we don't realize we're 99% energy and only 1% physical. We're all walking around in these little meat suits. <laughs> and, you know, the animals too. So when somebody dies, they leave their meat suit behind and they return to being just pure positive energy. Pure so energy. it's great. Okay. okay. Um, I'm going to get this. Uh, I'm going to get this book, Cowgirl Shaman. And uh, I'm going to order it today because I keep telling Terry that I'm going to do it. But as she knows, my mind goes right to the next thing as soon as I'm done. It with does. Thing. But uh, I love to go on it Amazon. Does. I go on Amazon every day and buy something. So um, that's what I'll buy today. Um, now, we're going to watch really, the vi video. But I, really, I want to give you a, a last chance to say anything you like before we have to go. Well, it's just that when people feel and sense and pick up on stuff, they have to trust it. Right. You know, we have a nerve bundle behind the stomach, and it, it works like a cell phone tower to pick up on energies and frequencies. And that's why we say when we have a gut feeling, we just have to trust it. That's the most important thing. I tell you, I uh, follow my own instincts. I try to, and my own judgment. And when I give in, follow someone else's judgment, I always <laughs> resent or regret yeah. that. I shouldn't say resent it, but regret it because most things have gone wrong in my life when I gave up, you know, 
my gut. It's my gut. I didn't have words for it until just this very moment. Thank you, right. Cowgirl Shaman, for get, making me <laughs> put words to what I've been doing my whole life. So I'm going to get the book and start there. All right. Um, anyway, last thoughts. I always cut people off. Um, no, I'm just, I'm just delighted to be here. I love helping people and their animals to heal their lives with the messages I receive. It's such an honor. Okay. And if somebody wants to reach you, should they start with the web page? Is that the best yes, place? Yes. The easiest way to get me is on my website. And it's Terry, terryj.com. Correct. That's pretty the easiest web page. I've already memorized it, terryj.com. <laughs> and remember, C-E-R-R-I, terryj.com. And by the way, if you're watching our, uh, uh, and you can't write these things down right now, call me. I'll keep Terry's uh, e email address and web page right on my desk. Call me. I'll give it to you. Uh, if you uh, uh, know somebody that might be able to benefit by talking to Terry J., I always feel better after I talk to her. Um, have them call me, and I'll, I'll put them in touch with Terry. So, um Thank you, Terry, and let's roll the film as we say in the business. I read it in the paper this morning and I thought, wow, this lady sounds wonderful. I was shocked because she could see our other dog running around the house and uh, so I knew we had the real thing when, when Terry came over. Grief sucks. It's a bitch to get through. But, but you're doing really, really good. You really are. Thanks like to you. <laughs> well, I'm going to help me more than you know. My name is Terry J. I'm just an ordinary Nevada cowgirl with extraordinary abilities. I help people and their pets to heal their lives through the messages I receive. How can I help you? Oh, great. Now I'm the cow whisperer. So, Chet, how can I help you? Well, uh, we met you before when uh, our previous dog, Josie, uh, passed away. Mm -hmm. And she was a Havanese. Uh, about 13, 14 pounds white, um, and we were shattered. It's so amazing when we lose an animal and we just think, we just think, oh gosh, there's, my heart is broken, it'll never heal, and then we find their spirit in a new physical form, and we're better. I'm having a lot of thyroid issues. Okay, that's from not speaking your truth. Okay. I know okay. there were some things that happened to me when I was a child, yes. and I might not have the memories. How do I progress to get? Do, do a do a letter to whom it may concern. Okay. Because you don't need to know. You don't need to go back to the scene of the crime. Right. To do energy healing to release a disease. You don't need to. Okay. Right. To whom it may concern. I know you did something bad to me, and that was horrible of you, and you should be ashamed of yourself, just like you're a little kid telling somebody off. And then when you're done. When you feel like you've vented all you need to vent and burn the letter and as you're burning it you say no one is ever going to treat me like that again. That's you taking your power back. It makes you empowered. Anybody wants to buy a real estate, they're supposed to call you. <laughs> okay. This $50 investment to you, it saved me $500,000. It was the biggest headache in my life. It feels like he is somewhere on a boat. <laughs> that would be him. What, did he yeah. have a boat? He did. Um, actually, a couple of days after he passed away, his prized possession, he had sold it a couple of days before he passed away, and the boat went on fire. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. His own, his boat his, after he had sold it? He sold it, and the engine caught on fire. Oh, my God. He had nothing to do with it. He's like, no, doing this. No, no, no. He had nothing to do with it. Okay. Know, right? Yeah. He wants to make sure you can see your husband when he's there. Do you see him when he's there? Mm-hmm. I do. Uh, okay, well, it, it kind of is, is scaring him. Really? Yeah. Goldie. Yeah. Oh, because we'll be sitting in the living room. Okay. And it's all nice and quiet watching TV, and all the cats will raise their head up and look down the hallway. So right. I know it's either Danny or my mom. It's just sort of spooking everybody. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, who did that? <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of dead people in here. <laughs> I love reading energies to help people and their pets to heal, but one of the other things that I like to do that involves reading energy is to help people find gold on maps, like my friend Dave. Remember when I did that map dowsing for you, when you were um, looking for gold? What, what happened with that? Well, when you told us um, that we should be on this side of the road, and from where I was standing, you said to go up the hill 50 more feet. And I said, that's, that's where we're digging now. Um, and that's where we found two nuggets that weighed almost three ounces. Yeah, what amazes me is, is 
This is on the other mine. Uh huh. When you told me, you gave me directions on which way to walk, and I walked way up the road, and you told me to go around the corner, which I did, and then up the hill, which I did, and you said right there. And, and out of a 20 acre claim, I thought that was amazing that it was only 50 feet away from the dowser. Oh, you mean you had a dowser out there on the ground? Yeah, he was looking for it too. The most impressive readings that we had was about my horse here, Annie. She had gone through some liver or some kidney failure, and she still wasn't feeling right a few months after she survived it. And I talked to you, and you told me this was wrong, this was wrong, this was wrong, called Dr. Alan White. He came out, confirmed everything you said. Oh, my goodness. Fixed it. By, he acupunctured her, and by that night, she was 80% different. In one day? In one day. It oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. And as I like to say, another day, another reading, another miracle.